DJ Pro added an amazing feature called hardware mode back when they did the 4.0 update. And now with the amazing 5.0 update, there is another way to access it. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use it. And by the end of the video, you'll know if you want to use this setting or not. So basically what this setting does is it's an advanced setting for the pro mode that's supposed to make it easier for using controllers. It gets rid of some of the features that you have on your controller to make the other features bigger that you probably don't have on your controller. And it works with any controller that you're using connected to the app. So this is pro mode. So take a look at what we got in pro mode. We have our crossfader down here. We have our volume sliders in the middle. And then we have the, these sections that are the same in classic mode. We can access narrow mix and all of our other features like that. And also take a look at the jog wheel and the BPM. So this is what it looks like when you use your controller or if you're just DJing in pro mode. Now we're gonna press the middle button. And if you're in settings, you're gonna have to go over here down to the left to modes. And then now we have the option right above the new starter mode is hardware mode. So we are going to press that and now we're in hardware mode. So here is the difference. We lost the crossfader because every controller, even small ones like this have a crossfader. And then we also don't see our volume sliders because every controller has a volume slider. So what do we get? We get a bigger view of our features down here for narrow mix, Q, uh, beat grid editor or cues and effects and all the other features. They're much bigger down here, which is really cool. And then also if we want to use the pad effects, a lot of control, it's kind of like an extension of our controller because we can use our finger on the touch screen and it works great for using these effects. Next thing that we have is we have access to our effects. We could turn on our effect right here without going down here into this menu. This makes it so we could do other stuff here while we're using the effect up here and we could change our effects like that. Next we have a, a beat skip. So this is great for setting up your, your, your mixes if you want to do long mixes over 32 beats or 16 beats or eight or just know exactly where it is that's how you can do it and then we have access to our sampler and our looper down here which most controllers aren't going to have access to the looper and they will have limited access to the sampler unless it's a really big controller this one you can only control eight eight of the samples and then also we could get a big view of our library we could go through all, all of our playlists it's similar to how it is in pro mode if you have that library section open you could also if you unselect everyone so this is our features this is our looper and sampler this is our music selection and then if we press it again we get a big giant view of our waveforms if you're used to using dj software that is very waveform heavy like tractor then this might feel more comfortable to you and then we have the big view of our waveforms, but we also get all of these features down here as well. We have our effects, our cue, our slip, our reverb. This hardware mode feature really shines if you are someone that likes to see the waveforms in the big view like this, because we still get all these features and we get to see what's going on down here. So we lose our big BPM slider, but we gain, we get to see the levels over here. We can control our quantize here. And we could even control neural mix right here. We could have a neural mix equalizer or neural mix EQ if we want. And then that would be visual visible down here. We have a play button right here next to our jog wheels, which every controller is going to have a play button. That's why they made it small and not really big at the bottom. Like in regular pro mode, we could access our, we could set our temporary cue right from here, or we could see that it is selected. And we also have a gain control here, even though most people aren't going to use the gain control because this control, this app has an amazing auto gain feature. And then also we can control our waveforms over here. It's the same thing in pro mode and you could get really advanced with the waveforms. And if you guys want to learn more about DJ Pro's waveforms, check out this video over here.